Hey guys, my name is Isabella and welcome to my channel. Before we get into today's video, I just want to remind everyone about a couple of things. First, my Patreon, where for $3 a month you can get four extra ASMR videos each and every month. You will also gain access to all of the previous month's videos as well. I also have an OnlyFans page, so if you think that might be something you're interested in, you can use the link down below to sign up for that. Also down below you'll find my Instagram and Wizio page information. So my Wizio is where I make all of my custom content, so pretty much those are all the links listed down below. And lastly, just remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. But now let's get into today's video. Hey guys, welcome to my vacation vlog. I am so excited to share my recent trip with you guys. I went on a cruise, which it was my first time ever going on a cruise. I left from Tampa and this is just me getting ready to board. I chose Carnival just because based on my schedule that was the only ship leaving Tampa that fit into my schedule, but I think in the future, although I liked it, I'd probably want either a cruise line or a cruise ship with more amenities. It was a lot of fun, but after I got back, I was like looking into the other cruise lines and cruise ships and just realized that some of them are crazy. So I think it would be really fun to experience one of the more modern ones, but this was still a really fun trip. So this is me just getting on the ship. Uh, this was really cool. This glass ceiling you could just see. And I noticed they had all these like eggs, which remind me of the Fabergé eggs. So I don't know if that decoration was supposed to be some sort of version. But yeah, this is me just filming from the view from my cabin. And this is leaving Tampa. This is getting ready to go to the pool. I was really stressed originally when I got on the ship because I thought I was going to have service and be able to do work. So I very quickly learned that um, the internet service, although I paid for premium, really was not premium internet. So um, yeah, I was like a little freaked out at first, but then relaxed and was like, okay, let's just enjoy the trip because you're in the middle of the ocean now and there's nothing you can do about it. So this is just a little view of the room. I keep wanting to say hotel room, but this is just the bathroom in the cabin and the different shampoo and shower gels they have for you. Now this is me still just getting ready to go to the go to the pool. I was very excited. Those are my new sunglasses, which I really like. My head shape, I find a lot of sunglasses look weird on me, but those are from Warby Parker and they're pretty cute. So this is still just leaving the Tampa Bay area. This is the first food we got from the like buffet. Um, and to be honest, it was not good. It's obviously nice that it's free, but the pizza tasted like rubber cheese and I got a tomato mozzarella sandwich on focaccia and there was like way too much oil so I was like a little disappointed but as the days went on the food got better and I'm not sure if I just adjusted to the taste of the food or if it actually did get better. This was us just to leaving Tampa. That is the sky bridge. It was so windy. This was filmed from the front of the cruise and the sky bridge. It's crazy how close the top of the cruise ship gets to hitting the sky bridge. And I have driven over the sky bridge and when you're on it, it looks like you are going to fall off the other side because when you're driving, it looks like it's a massive incline and you can't see the other side, but it looked so flat from the angle of being on the cruise. So that was so trippy to see that because it, it literally looked like there was barely an incline, but yeah, it does get really close to hitting the sky bridge. And I think I heard that's why the Tampa cruise ships are smaller than the ones that leave out of Miami because the sky bridge is kind of low. So the really massive ones can't leave from Tampa. This was me the first night getting ready for dinner. Um, I had all my vacation outfits, which you 
high, so it was nice to pack a pair that weren't super high, especially the first night walking, you know, around on a cruise where I didn't know what to expect as far as the amount of motion you're going to feel, which we did feel more than I think what is normal to feel on a cruise because the entire trip was rainy and stormy. The first night wasn't bad, but the second night was probably the worst. The start of day two, it was stormy. This was a sea day, so we just spent the whole day on the ship. Oh, this was my yogurt parfait. It was so good. And then to go with my yogurt parfait, I got a croissant, some black coffee. Afterwards, we just walked around a little bit, saw just to get a feel for the ship and everything, walked through the casino. I actually saw, if you noticed, there was that claw with the money and I actually saw someone win from that machine. So that was pretty cool because whoever actually wins from those, they had so many just like random activities. This was some like, I don't know, midday Zumba thing, I believe. It's weird just looking into the water and seeing absolutely nothing for like hundreds and hundreds of miles, but the open ocean. So it's the hallway heading back to our cabin. And for being in such close quarters, I noticed you really couldn't hear the people around you. Every day, they made the towels into a different animal, which I loved. And of course, every day, I took a video to, of course, add in this vlog. This was my outfit for Elegant Night, which I thought it was just called, like, the Captain's Dinner. But maybe they changed that because it was, it was called Elegant Night. But... This was a romper jumpsuit that I put in my dry on haul last week. It was really cute. I feel like it, it fit the vibe of the cruise. This is their mushroom soup that they've been serving for 50 years. And this is their carbonara pasta dish that they've been serving for 50 years. So I wanted to try their uh, staple menu items. This was some like espresso cake. My cake, I really can't enjoy it unless it has buttercream frosting, and that didn't. So day three, we were in Cozumel. I was very excited. Had my bikini on, was ready to conquer the day until it started absolutely pouring, but it was still really fun. So this was another cruise ship that was docked as well. And for this day, we didn't have an excursion or anything. So we were just going to walk around in the shopping area and just, just you know, take it easy and explore a little, which I like when I'm on vacation. I just want to be lazy and have no real set schedule. So this was breakfast from the buffet. Um, I got the lox, I got the lox eggs benedict, which was not very good. The hash brown was really good. I also tried the waffle, which was partly frozen, but it, it was, it was good. It's free, so whatever. Um, so yeah, just getting ready to exit the cruise ship for the day and head to the port area and see what they have going on. So, yeah, this was the port area. As you can see, it was not a pretty day. Very cloudy, and it started absolutely boring, but started off the morning by just looking around, seeing all the, the different things they had that they were selling, which was really fun, just to look at everything. And, yeah, I just enjoy walking around and I was just looking at the different fun dishes and styles. Everything was really pretty and colorful and just so unique looking. So that was just a fan that I thought was really pretty. I didn't buy it or anything, but I, I've been to Mexico before, but it, it was a long time ago, so 
This was a restaurant that was good. It was called Ponchos, I believe. These these guys were playing music right outside the restaurant. So if it wasn't an ASMR video, I would let you listen because it was really nice to listen to while the rain was falling. And I tried a Dos Equis beer, which I had never tried before. They served it in like these chalice goblets that I actually looked around the store attached to the restaurant because I loved them and I wanted to buy some, but they didn't have them. So yeah, this was a little platter that we sampled from. It was good just to try a little bit of all the different foods. So I really enjoyed that. Okay, is this an elephant or a dog? I think it's an elephant, but I was missing my dog, so I pretended it was Muffin. So the store was called Viari. They were selling different bags and boots in there. I'm still not sure if this stuff is real or not, but this is me coming back. See, it absolutely poured. I was so soaking wet, changed into my nice fluffy cardigan kind of robe, which felt so good. This is just the view from the cabin window. I keep still wanting to say hotel room, but we didn't have a lot of time there, I think. Oh, so I, I may or may not have bought those bags that I don't know if they're real, um, but I thought they were really pretty, so not sure if I was scammed and they spelled authentic wrong, so it's not a very good, uh, <laughs> good feeling. I, I picked a crocodile though because I feel bad buying animals, like a bag made out of an animal, but I figured crocodiles are mean, so that made it okay, question mark. So now this was kind of just a casual night, didn't get dressed up or anything and didn't go to the dining room, just went to the buffet area and relaxed. The time in Cozumel was pretty short. Oh, this was a pina colada that I got. It was very good, not very strong. Um, oh, so day four, day four was Grand Cayman. This is us just heading into the Grand Cayman port. But what I wanted to say about Cozumel is just that we got there at 7 a.m. and left at, I think, 3.30. So kind of weird hours, but Grand Cayman, we ended up getting in late. We were supposed to get in at 10. We got in at noon, but we still left at 6. So between the weather and the times, the days were cut a little short. For this one, we did do an excursion. This was like a semi-submarine thing where you sit in the bottom of the boat and you could see below. Actually, we were going to see stingrays and I guess you like touch them and kiss them, which freaked me out a little bit, but I was willing, I was willing to give it a shot. Uh, that ended up getting canceled because of the weather. Then we were going to do a snorkeling thing. I think it was just snorkeling in some coral reef area, but that got canceled because of the weather. So we ended up doing this instead, which was fine because since it was kind of rainy out, going in the water probably wouldn't have been that enjoyable. So this was just a little beach area where it looked like they were selling fish or preparing them. This was on the walk back from the excursion. This was the only time that I touched the ocean. So then we went to this place called Sharky's, which I think they may have one in the no, Martha's Vineyard. I was going to say Nantucket. I'm pretty sure this was the view from Sharky's. And at Sharky's just got some chicken tenders and a pina colada, which I usually don't really get like fruity mixed drinks. But I decided to go big this vacation, so I had quite a few pina coladas. And the best one, I think, was in Cozumel, but this was just getting ready to leave. Grand Cayman made sure we were back in time so we weren't stranded. There were so many times during this cruise, I was just imagining. 
this one was so cute. Um, but this was just getting back from Grand Cayman, relaxing a little bit. I think I took a nap and then tried their fun ship drink, which tasted like frat juice. So it was strong, but after one, I was like, I'm good. <laughs> so this is my dinner outfit for that night. Just kind of a cute cropped top with some satin joggers and my new white wrap heels that I've been wearing a lot. I really liked this outfit. And every night, my hair would be a complete frizzball and I would tame it. And then a few hours later, it would go crazy again. We saw a really funny comedian while we were here. I can't remember. We saw him two nights in a row. We saw him the last night. And I think we saw him night two. His name was Mike Winfield. He was really funny. And he was just on America's Got Talent. So you should look him up. Uh, on this night, after dinner, we went to, it was called like the Love Marriage Show. I got the lasagna, which was actually really good, and I couldn't make up my mind, so the waiter brought me both. The other one was like chicken stuffed with spinach and feta. Those were ribs. This was the final morning. All was the saddest day, the last day of vacation. So, uh, while waiting for our table to be ready for breakfast. We went to the buffet, just had some coffee, relaxed, and waited for our table to be ready. I got a vegetable omelet with cheese and hash browns. This is me just doing my hair and makeup. Originally, I thought we were just going to stay inside and like do some of the like activities or go to a show or something. So I got my hair and makeup all done, but then we decided to go to the pool area. So yeah, that, that kind of <laughs> defeated, defeated my hair. Yeah, this was, as you can see, a very rainy afternoon on the, on the deck of the pool. So, and this is my hair post humidity and rain. So, just walking around the ship, exploring, and the final, the final towel of the vacation was a heart. And this is the final dinner outfit, or actually, pretty sure this is an outfit I wore in my try-on haul. Always trying to do something about that frizz. This is a hair oil I've been using for a few months and my hair really just has a mind of its own and this is the first hair product that I have found actually helps my hair. It's called Bread. So if anyone's looking for a hair oil, it's sold at Sephora and it's not that expensive either. So I think it's like $30 or something. But, yep. Outfit ready, hair oil on. One last view of the ocean before leaving for dinner. It's funny, by that point, I was so adjusted to being on a ship. I barely even felt it, and that was actually the roughest night. Like, literally, I was doing my makeup and, like, tripping because the waves were headed in the opposite direction of the boat. So, and they were very big too, so it was literally rocking the whole ship. Just heading to dinner. The staff was so friendly. The guy that cleaned our room, he knew our names. They, they really trained their staff, like I have a very high standard for the staff there. This is just back from dinner. We saw Mike Winfield one more time, heading back to Tampa. This was before bed, so you can see how much progress was made while we were sleeping, getting ready for bed. Went to bed pretty early because I had a lot to do once back in Tampa. So the next morning, I woke up and we were docked in Tampa, went through customs, and headed to my apartment. If you don't know, I live in Tampa, so got some breakfast at a restaurant outside my building called True Food. I had a cappuccino and a garlic.
process of moving and I have a lot of work to do so by the time you see this video I will have moved